all YouTubers, this is Music Teacher 101 over here. Um, I am going to show you how to make a combustion engine generator that I have recently figured out to be the most efficient as far as I can tell. Um, I have it right here. It's got a tank with fuel. I have my refineries that are sending the oil through and making it into fuel. And there is my combustion engine generator. I will show you from pretty much start to finish. Um, this is going to be kind of laggy because my recorder is just really retarded, but um, it should work out pretty well. I uh, have all this put together and it's all working. It's not on right now, but I will show you once I build another one somewhere. Um, I'll probably do it over there or something, but anyway, this one, I took oil from an oil geyser, which I actually recently found. I was, I was kind of surprised. I spawned over there, and I was, I was building this just to, to show you guys, and when I found this oil geyser, I was just like, wait, what? That's <laughs> so awesome. But anyway, um... Let's go back here and I'll turn this sucker on for you. I don't know if it's cooled down yet because I, uh, I had it on last night and when I logged back in it was still heated up. So anyway, there we go. It pumps power straight over here. Oh, over here to the refiners. I don't know why I'm swimming. I was trying to fly but the double tap of the spacebar didn't work. So it pumps the refiners at pretty decent speed I would say it's it's kind of slow but it's just because of how far away the generator is from the refineries I mean if I scoot them up over here like right next to the water it'd probably be fine it's just because of how how far the, the gold conductor piping is going all the way over here but anyway I found that this is the most fuel efficient and water efficient and uh, <laughs> later I will show you how and why and make it so that you understand that it is already. All right, guys, I am back. I uh, I was waiting a little while for the combustion engines to heat up, and they're they're still not quite there yet. But I did want to mention real quick that uh, one of the things that you do want to make sure that you're paying attention to when you're building this and have it working is you want to make sure that your redstone engines are staying green or blue. If they start turning orange, then you may want to grab some more and switch them out. Um, I wouldn't turn them off to let them cool down because otherwise it'll, it'll run these combustion engines out of water. So, uh, anyway, um, this is almost there. The heat for the prime temperature on these combustion engines is supposed to be 4,900 degrees Celsius. I don't know why they came up with that number. I really don't. But, um, that's the prime temperature that makes it so they're running at full capacity and they start pumping water through. Um, I will show you in a minute once it starts actually getting to that temperature that it, uh, it just keeps flowing the water right through and it doesn't even run out. That's how awesome this setup is. I didn't even realize how well it was working until I was working over there at the oil pump and I came back like 20 minutes later and it wasn't even like heated up after 20 minutes of going through all that water. It didn't even run out of any either. So, but uh, it's getting close. So I will be back in a couple minutes and I will let you know. All right. Alright guys, here I am, I'm back. Um, I just uh, was waiting a little bit for the temperature to get all the way up. It is now at 4900.6 degrees Celsius, which is the prime temperature. Um, as you can see, the fuel is staying all the way up and the water is staying all the way up. So that is an extremely amazing amount of feeding here. I don't know why that was clicking and beeping at me, but... Ah, uh, come on. Go. All the way up here. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> I'm stupid. So the refineries were filling up with fuel, and I forgot to turn on the redstone engines to pump that out. <laughs> That's great. All right, so anyway, as you can see, the refineries are working in actually decent speed right now. I don't know why. It's probably because of the stored energy that was in here. Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, it was because of the stored energy. Now they're... maybe not. I don't know. They're not slowing down. Still on the same speed. So I don't know. Sorry if this is getting really laggy. It's just partially because of my computer being really slow and partially because this recording software is crap. But anyway, as you can tell, still flowing pretty good. Still staying up there. Oh, just filled right back up. It's going back and forth between one bucket down and full. So it's it's staying up there pretty good. I, I'm really surprised and amazed and pretty much kind of flabbergasted as to how well this works. But uh, I tried working on it when I was on a different single player map that I did. I had uh, I had a bunch of different combustion engine generators going on, and I had a few of them. I think I had like three, and I tried to get this one to work, and it wouldn't work because I had the other two running at the time, and it just didn't want to do anything. I'm not sure whether it was just because it was just taking forever, or whether it was just because whatever I was sending the electricity to was too far away. You see, this is even almost too far away right here. Just. 20, maybe 30 blocks down over here and see how it's on purple. That's the next stage up from red or off. That's how slow these are going right now. I thought that it was a pretty decent speed, but it's actually not. But anyway, and this is still running at full. Still 4,900 degrees. Still not running out of water still working perfectly um, in this next little short section that's only about three minutes long because my recording is just retarded I will show you step by step what you need and how to put it all together um, this is going to be in creative mode not survival just because I don't really do anything like this in survival but anyway see you in a bit alright guys I am back and I'm going to show you how to put this all together and oh god Super rain. Make it day first. And get rid of this rain because I don't like the rain. It makes it even worse for lag. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to put it together, how it works, and make sure that you're doing it all right. So what you need is a fuel bucket if you're doing it like this on creative mode because I just put it together easier that way um, oil bucket or a oil geyser whichever and I'll show you how to do that in a second cobblestone waterproof pipe stone waterproof pipe so then you can differentiate between water and fuel because if you put them together it's just gonna fuck shit up um, golden waterproof pipe so then you can transport your oil from your oil geyser to your refineries without having it stop somewhere because if you use stone waterproof pipe or cobblestone waterproof pipe it'll stop at a certain distance and it won't go all the way. Um, wooden conductive pipe, gold conductive pipe, redstone engines, combustion engines, regular stone or whatever kind of fancy stone you want to use, doesn't matter. As long as you don't use sand, because sand doesn't do anything, it just falls or gravel. That's kind of stupid. But anyway, pumps, a tank if you're using that kind of tank, refineries, or you could use an iron tank, and you could do iron tank valve, iron tank wall, and iron tank gauge from Railcraft. Okay? The two mods that I didn't happen to mention that you needed for this, I'm sorry, are Buildcraft and Railcraft. 
I also have Twilight Forest on here. I don't know why. I just was kind of messing with it and I wanted to see what kind of stuff they had on here. But anyway, um, build craft and real craft are what you need. Unless you're just doing regular tanks like this and then you can just do build craft. But I have real craft on here just because I like these iron tanks or the steel tanks. Because the steel tanks and iron tanks you can make so much bigger and they hold so much more oil or fuel. And so I'm just going to use Railcraft and Buildcraft for this one just so then you do it the same way I am and make it sh so that it works pretty well. Um, but anyway, the next little chunk... Oh, dang it, I hate it when these things heat up. Alright, so the next little chunk is going to be how to put it together. And I'm going to start with the pumps and the redstone engines. Alright? So... Like I said in the last video, make sure that you keep these on green or blue because if they go to red or orange, they'll just not work at all. And it'll run out and make sure not to turn them off. Alright guys, I am back and I am going to show you part two of putting this thing together. Um, I did check on those, those stone bricks, or stone blocks, sorry, that are sitting in the water over here in the corners. And yes, they are supposed to sit at each corner. Um, God, stupid leg. Come on, let me fly. Thank you. Yeah, they are supposed to go diagonally out from the middle and head out here two blocks out diagonally. Okay? So, part two. Part two, part two, part two. Alright, so, going to do. Um, need another piston out here. Another diagonal piston. <laughs> we just, we just love diagonals. Yes, yes. Well, not we. I, I like diagonals. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna do these next set of pumps the same way. You're just gonna do diagonal. Ah, I don't know why, but sometimes it double clicks on me, and it's just like, no, I don't want it to do that. Dang it! All right, then we're gonna do more redstone pumps. Go away, nighttime. Thank you. Alright, so going to continue with the redstone pumps that are going to go around. Now, you only need two for each pump. I mean, I guess you could put more on these outer ones, like you could go all the way around. But the only reason I'm doing just two is so when I put my lever, which is going to be the next part, right here on these stone blocks, it controls all four of them. So it's it's easier that way to just have one lever for each set of four engines, you know what I mean? Uh, Alright, so after <clears throat> stupid redstone engines. Alright, so now we're going to do the levers. And the levers are just gonna go doink right there. Don't you like my sound effects there? Doink! Anywho, um, yep, just putting these levers right here, right here. I don't have a very good accent for anything except for maybe Irish, but anyway. Um, that shows this part with the rest of the redstone engines and the pumps. The next section I'm going to show is the tubing, and that's going to be for sending the water up to the combustion engines that are going to be sitting up here. Alright, and what I want to make sure that you're still doing correctly here, I want to make sure that you have all four of these going this, the right way. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it glitches out and the pumps aren't pointing at the, I mean the redstone engines aren't pointing at the pumps, but that's how you want it done, right? So, to the next. Wow, I really cut out at that last part, that was kind of funny. Um, so anyway, here is for part three. Part three, we're going to do the piping. This is <laughs> this is the old one, not the new one. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to do the cobblestone and stone piping to send your water and fuel through. I'm probably only going to do the water piping for this chunk 
because I'm gonna end up putting the combustion engines in here too. But uh, you could put all your extra stuff back here. Um, you need your combustion engines. You need a waterproof or cobblestone waterproof pipe. Um, I believe that is about it. I mean, I could do this next part here with the lever and the redstone, but yeah, we'll save that for the next jump. Alright, so, going to do cobblestone pipe, cobblestone waterproof pipe, on each one of these. All eight of them. And you don't want to have these on yet because they're just going to sit there and pump and waste the redstone energy and they're just going to kill the redstone pumps or engines. Why do I keep on calling them pumps? Dang! Yeah, they, uh, they look like pumps, sort of, so that's uh, I guess why I call them that. But anyway, go away, rain. Thank you. Alright, so then you're going to go up to second level Lag, go away. The other reason why this is only in three minute chunks is because it takes me so long due to the lag to get this to work right. Well, I mean, the main reason is because my recording software only records, I think it said like 200 seconds or something like that, which is ridiculous, but anyway. This is how you're going to be doing your piping. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't go down like that. Um, no, I don't want you there. I want you here, here, and here, and up. And here, 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 and then up. And here, here, no. Here, 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 and then up. Alright! Apparently I didn't have much time for the combustion engine, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, middle of each side. Very far outside. Okay, so it's going to look... Fly! Bastard. So it's going to look like that. Alright, the next chunk I'm going to continue with the cobblestone pipe and put in water. Alright! So, now I'm going to continue with the cobblestone waterproof pipe and connect them to the combustion engines. So all you gotta do is just put it together like that, make it a corner, so then it flows into the combustion engine, okay? So all you gotta do after the stupid lag quits, do that, that, and that, okay? Just, just three pieces of pipe. One, Ah. Two, three. This this lag is killing me. I I hate this. This is this is horrible. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Bessie. Start working. Please. Alright, that's it for the cobblestone waterproof pipe. Alright. Now you don't need your cobblestone waterproof pipe no more. Woohoo! One more thing to check off the list. You don't need your combustion engines either. Aha! One more thing to check off the list. Alright, so the next amount of stuff that you'll need is your stone waterproof pipe for your fuel or your oil or your lava, whichever fuel source you want to use. And you will be using your, 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 um, wooden, or no, that's not wooden, golden. Haha, <laughs> stupid me golden waterproof pipe okay all right so I'm just going to quickly turn these on my redstone engines to start pumping the water through to the combustion engines to fill them up and what this will do it'll probably it'll probably take a good 10 15 minutes for them to fill all the way up because these combustion engines take a lot of water and the pumps don't exactly pump the water upwards very fast. So uh, if you're 
involved with anything else on your Minecraft map or your multiplayer server that has Buildcraft and Railcraft on it as mods, um, I'd go do something else for a little bit. Um, I'd check up every once in a while though to make sure that your redstone pumps are... Keep on saying it. I keep on saying it. Redstone engines God, are staying blue or green. I'm going to keep saying this until the end of this whole video because if you do not keep your redstone engines blue or green, they will overheat, they will seize, and you will have to put new ones on. And if you put a new one on, then it will continue to pump your water through, which is a good thing. But if they seize, your combustion engines will run out of water, and they will overheat, and they will die, and blow up. And you will not like that if you are not around, because you will come up to a very, very bad surprise. So anyway, the next chunk is going to be the fuel source, and I will see you in a second. Alright guys, I am back, and I'm going to show you how to make your fuel source. So, what I've got over here is my refineries and my big-ass fuel tank. Now, what this big-ass fuel tank is made out of is iron tank valves, iron tank walls, and iron tank gauges. I was going to show you guys how to do all the piping for this, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to show you how to build your iron tank. So, I will also show you how to do just one of the regular tanks and how to pump it in, but I'll probably not have time for that on this video. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make, oh, what the hell am I doing? I should go over to where my other generator is. Stupid lag, it won't let me fly. Alright, get rid of the cactus here real quick. Uh, I might as well pick it up, I don't care. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Now, I think the size is varied, but you can do it this size. which is a 3x3, three three. you could do it a 5x5, five five, or you could do it a 7x7, seven seven. and the height is always the same, so technically it's 3x3x3, 5x5x5, by three by three, five by five by five, or 7x7x7, seven seven seven. but anyway, I'm going to just do a 5x5, five five. I think that's 5, yeah, 5x5x5, five. By five by five. and what you want to make sure that you do with your tank wall is you want to make sure that the floor is completely covered. I'm just going to show you how to do the, the framing for this right now. Just to make sure you're doing it correctly. Now one of the things you can do with your tank valves is you can pretty much put them anywhere on these tanks. So you can have this damn thing floating and you can have the valve on the bottom. It, it doesn't matter. So. I'm just going to do one on each side, like I have on the other one over there, on that side over there, and I'm just going to show you how I do it. You take your iron tank valve, just put it right there. Iron tank valve, put it right there. Oh, I want two of them, I only want one. Iron tank valve, put it right there. Iron tank valve, put it right there. And you fill the rest of this with your gauges, which is also just known as glass pretty much what it is, but it's an iron tank gauge. I, I don't know how to build any of this stuff, like craft it, so I'm not showing any of that, because all of the stuff that I've been doing with build craft and rail craft, I've only been doing it with creative mode, just because I don't like crafting it. I don't want that there. And as you can tell, they were, wait, oh, I didn't put a top. Haha. <laughs> Oops, I'm running out of time, I only got three seconds, but I will show you what it looks like in a second. Hey, sorry I, uh, I cut out there for a little bit, guys. I was uh, running out of time, as I've said throughout multiple of these videos, I only have like three and some odd seconds, three minutes and so many seconds to put a video together. So uh, this is what it looks like, finished. Um, I will show you what the glass looks like if I break one. See? They're all individual panes, 
well not panes, they're just glass blocks sort of, but they're called iron 10 gauges. And then when I put one together, oh, look at what it did. It made them into one long piece of glass. All right, so that's how that is. I'm gonna get rid of this cactus real quick because I don't want it or need it or ever care about it. Except for when I'm making a uh, waterproof pipe, which I never do because I just use creative mode. But anyway, so what you want to do is you just want to fill this up and it takes forever to fill this up with fuel when you're using a bucket. It takes about the same amount of time when you're using a refinery on the slowest setting, which is what I have it on right now, because my generator is just too far away from it to send that much power down. But with the big one that I have over there, the uh, the 7x7, it just takes forever. So I'm just going to fill this one up to this the top of this block right here, this one right here. I'm just going to sit here and do this, and I'm just going to talk while I'm sitting here looking like I'm beating off a bucket. Um, anyway, one of the things you want to make sure when you're putting this together is you want to make it all even, because I don't think it works if you don't make it all the same size, your dimensions. So what you want to do is when you're doing, oh, is it raining? Is it really raining right now? I hear rain and I just heard thunder, which you wouldn't because you're connected to my headphones. Uh -huh. So, weather clear, time set day, so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, it was raining. Hmm. I didn't see it. But anyway, um, what you want to make sure that you're doing with this tank is you're actually hitting the, uh, the tank with your fuel thing because if you. You do something stupid, like you accidentally click this, that ain't gonna do anything. So you just wanna make sure that you're sitting there actually pointing at the tank when you're filling this up. I've done that a few times with oil, and it just makes a mess. And it takes away everything that you've done that is redstone. So if you have any redstone wiring, just. Green mom, you? Okay. Yeah, so if you do anything with redstone wiring, it just does not work out. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to wait for this to fill up, and I will be back in a little bit. After a couple hours of trying to do a bunch of different stuff and find a recording program that will actually work, um, I found one that actually records more than three minutes. Yay! So now I'm going to actually have a recording that isn't split up into chunks. All right, so where was I? Ah, yeah, all right. Uh, come on, fly. Fly, please. Fly, please. Thank you. All righty. So I have got the combustion engines filled with water. Right now they're not on, obviously. Uh, one, because they have no fuel, and two, because they have no redstone and a lever to put them set up to a power source and make them turn on. So what I have here, over there, once I get up, is a tank filled with fuel. And this fuel is going to pump over there, not, not over there, but over there to the combustion engines and it's going to fill up and then I'm going to turn this sucker on and I'm going to show you how the uh, refinery works alright so what we're going to need to pump over the fuel bucket stuff is first of all I didn't even grab it we need wooden waterproof pipe we need golden waterproof pipe and then, I don't know whether we'll need the stone or the pipe, but we'll use it anyway. When I did it the other time, it worked with stone waterproof pipe, and then I, I did the golden from the tank over. But anyway, one thing you want to make sure that you do is you put your wooden waterproof pipe on this block, because this is the valve block. 
And this valve is where the water or the oil or the fuel or the steam or lava, whichever one you want to put in, is at. This is whichever one sends it through. So you want to put your wooden waterproof pipe on here. But the way you do it, just make sure you do it this way, is you do shift, click. And sometimes it'll do two, just based on my glitch here. But if you only do a click, or a sh just a right click, it'll either not do anything, or it'll send you over to the tank, and it'll show you how much there is. Okay, so you want to make sure you do shift, click, okay? And then, we're just going to, ah, we're just going to send golden waterproof, oh, you bugger, we're going to just send waterproof pipe golden waterproof pipe all the way over here and I'm gonna line up all this cobblestone no this is regular stone yeah regular stone waterproof pipe around and this is going to send the fuel through the system and go to each combustion engine this is probably still going to be laggy just because my computer is really slow and Minecraft does not want to do this with the recording software very well. So I'm just going to try my best. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it don't work. Alright. So after all this stone waterproof pipe is wrapped around after I quit glitching out and moving where I don't want to move, I'm going to... Ah, uh, no. No. There. Now that this is surrounded, I'm going to send the golden waterproof pipe. What? No. It's still going to charge with it on green. But anyway, my grandma was talking to me. So, now what we're going to do is connect those. Alright, now what you need to do is take your redstone engines and levers and get rid of these. Put one there, put one there, and put one there. Again, if you click on this instead, it'll send you to the iron tank and it'll show you what's in it. So make sure that you click on the wooden waterproof pipe. Then you just put a lever here. Turn it on. Fly, damn it. Put a lever here. And then turn that one on. And the fuel is going down the pipe. I am doing my thing. Yep. I'm sorry guys, my grandma was wanting me to do some stuff. But anyway, now the fuel is going to flow into the combustion engines. Alright, so next thing I'm going to show you is how to do the wooden conductive pipe and the golden conductive pipe. So then you can put them together. You don't need all this iron tank stuff anymore, and you don't need the fuel machine to refill your refill tank. But you're going to need a lever, you're going to need your redstone, and you're going to need your wooden conductive pipe and your golden conductive pipe. Alright? So what you're going to do, is you're going to put your lever right there, you're going to put your uh, redstone there, heading toward each combustion engine. And then, you take your wooden conductive pipe, put it on each end, and then you take your golden conductive pipe, and put it inside, so then it looks like an X, or a cross. Alright, and that will conduct your energy, and then we can take this golden conductive pipe. You want to make sure that you do it two up before you start setting it somewhere because then it'll just loop like these two are. But I didn't want both of them sitting there. But anyway, you want to make sure that you do at least two up. I mean, you could probably go straight up with this, but it's probably not going to send the 
the electricity very well. So, uh, go away. I'm just going to send this over here. And, oh, uh, you bugger. And then I will put a refinery down and I will show you how the refinery works. I'm just going to put a refinery right over here. So I'm just going to make sure that this is in line. Yep. Okay. Alright. sit right here. So you just take your refinery and I'm going to turn it this way so I can send my fuel over to the, the fuel place. Oh, stupid rain. I hate the rain. Alrighty. Now we're going to fill this up with oil and get rid of all this. Don't know. I still need that, but I don't need this anymore. And I need golden waterproof pipe. And I'm just going to fill this up. And I'm going to get rid of the oil. I'm going to get a redstone engine. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put my lever here. The redstone engine here. I'm going to take my gold waterproof pipe. You have to shift click on this too. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Stupid double clicking when it's not supposed to. Alright, that goes there. We fill the oil bucket. Oh, I don't want that either. No. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Ah, uh, I need you. Fill up. Fill it, man. Grab it. Grab it. Thank you. Whew. Okay, put the lever back down. Hey, I don't want you running right now. Okay, stupid. Alright, gold. Ah, damn it. Gold conductive pipe. No. Okay, this glitching is killing me, guys, so if I end up yelling or something, this is why. Uh, all right. Uh, one more down. Four more pieces of pipe. One. No, five more pieces. Oh, four more pieces. There we go. Okay. So now, fill this up with oil. All right. We are about ready to turn this thing on. Fly, 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 oh, you bastard, fly, damn it, thank you, I seem to notice that whenever I cuss it, it works better, <laughs> anyway, alright, let's turn this thing on, alright, there it goes, Sending electricity and it's working at full speed. Because there's only one on there. <laughs> if there were more, like three or four, then it would it would be slowing down like that other one does. Because of how little there is over here. But uh, I need to turn my redstone engines back on over here. Is there one of those that's orange up there? There is. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, it's starting to cool down there. Oh, it's going back up. No, no, go down. Go back down. Please go back down. What is going on? I'm really kind of hoping that the water fills back up. I'm going to turn this off for a little while. 
I want to fill that back up. Huh, that's kind of different. Never seen that happen before. Alright, so now I'm going to turn this back on. Let that pump the. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, one other thing I forgot to let you know of. When you're at the refinery and you're pumping with a wooden redstone engine, you need wooden waterproof pipe. That's what I forgot. Yep, you know I forgot something. Whenever you're using something with a redstone engine, you have to have a wooden waterproof pipe. But if you're on a pump, then you're fine. You don't have to have anything. Alright. So that is about it for this whole video here. I, uh, I'm going to put all the chunks together now. And this should be on sometime tonight, which is going to be really, really late, probably about 11.30. I've got to put all the videos together. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, post some comments, subscribe, do whatever. Um, I'm going to figure out some other cool stuff I want to show you guys. Um, I'm probably going to do something on Tech It later. Um, I want to do a really cool Tech It um, video. There's so many things on Tech It. It's, it's insane. But um, I will let you guys know what I'm going to do next. I will probably just do a little quick video and tell you what I'm going to do and then I'll post another one later. But uh, anyway, like I said, post comments, subscribe, whatever, and I will talk to you.